So within any single iPhone out there, there's always going to be little tiny things that you can do to enhance the security of your particular iPhone. Now, if you, if you already have your passcode, face ID, or touch ID set up, then that's perfect. But if you ever need to change or set up your particular passcode, face ID, or touch ID on any iPhone, iPad, even an iPod, it's a very, very basic process. And I'll go and show you exactly how to do that. The first thing you're going to want to do though, is you want to hop inside of your settings application. And when you do that, you'll come to this particular page. Now, what you're going to want to do here is you want to scroll down until you see this little option that says face ID and passcode or touch ID and passcode. It really just depends on what particular thing you're trying to set up here. So in this case, it's face ID and passcode. And we're going to want to click onto this particular portion. Now, if you have never set up face ID before, you'll see a set up face ID option right here, which is basically what you want to start off by doing. But if you've already set up Face ID, you should have a little option that shows a little bit of a different situation. So what this will end up showing is something like this, which will allow you to go and set up an alternative Face ID or set up an alternative appearance. And you can also set up Face ID with a mask and so many things. So when you're here, what you can do is you can go and click on Set Up Face ID. Now it's going to automatically open up the front-facing camera, and it's going to allow you to start following these on-screen instructions to basically go ahead and set up Face ID. So I would recommend going through following these on-screen instructions. It's just going to tell you exactly what to do. You just have to move your face around a couple of times and it'll just basically just map your face to this particular thing. And it really is that basic of a process and that's exactly how it's done. Now, if you do that and let's say that's not working, whatever the case is, or let's say you want to set up another thing, you can always turn on your passcode. So the passcode option is just right below that. So if you want to, what you can do is you can click on turn passcode on, which is right there. And then this next page is going to come up. Now it's going to allow you to basically set up your particular passcode whichever way you want to. So here, if you want to have you know six digits you know to basically set up a passcode, you can do it here. But you can also click on passcode options right here, and it's going to allow you to have a lot more customized you know customizing that you can do. So you can do a four-digit numeric code if you want to. You can do a six-digit numeric code, a custom numeric code right there, and then a custom alphanumeric code. So if you want to have letters and numbers, you can do custom alphanumeric or you can do a custom numeric code. You can do all sorts of different things here. It's kind of like an unlimited process, unlimited stuff that you can do right here too. So what you can do is kind of customize this whichever way you want to. And then you can go and type in the passcode whatever way you want. And you can use the passcode, you can change the passcode whichever way you want to. That's another option that you have there as well. Now beyond that, there's a lot of customizing that you can do inside of this particular panel. You can use Face ID for iPhone unlocking, so many different things across the board. So at this point, you can just go through and just kind of customize this whichever way you want to. But at a high level, that is basically how it's done. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.